Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I wanted to start off this video by saying thank you to those of you that commented. I think it was on my Throwback 30 video about taking time for me and, you know, you guys will be here whenever I, you know, if and when I come back. <laughs> I would come back. I appreciate that. And it definitely takes off some of the pressure of trying to keep up with things. So thank you for for saying that's very much appreciated. I am filming today. I'm very excited. I'm going to share with you my update for Pan That Palette. I am doing a couple of themes. <laughs> the first one is a theme that was created by Jackie Lutens for the Fantastic Ladies Club Facebook group, and that is Fun Sized. And I'm working on this Natasha Denona <laughs> Mini Love Palette. Then for Baby Panette Palette, I actually have two. I'm working on the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Luxury Palette, as well as this Pat McGrath Little Mini Midnight Voyage Palette. And then I'm also doing the Better Together collaboration project that Paula put together. And for that, I decided to work on this Natasha Denona Leela Palette. So I'm gonna start with the fun sized project theme, pan that palette theme. And let me show you what this looked like last month. I don't think I took a picture. So this is probably going to be a really bad screenshot from the last video. And this is what my palette looks like now. I do, I, since I don't have a picture to reference, actually, let me pull up the video myself. I can do that. Okay, I pulled up a little image from my last video. So, and you'll probably see it up here in the corner, a little mini version of this. So I have made really good progress in this. I think I've expanded all four of these pans. I have, I've dipped into this today. I've only used it a couple of times but I have dipped into it a little bit, but the majority of my progress has been with these four shades. Let me see if I can get better lighting. Yeah, so I'm gonna start with this shade here. These shades in here are called like You Are My True Love. Those are the names of the shades. So this shade here, I did expand quite a bit. There's a larger dip and there's a larger pan. I have been wearing this palette a lot in the last month, just from a, a, a it being really easy to wear. This is a really easy palette to wear. I You put this in the crease. I tend to brighten it up a little bit as my first crease shade with a like a cream colored eyeshadow. And then I go in with this as my second. And then I mix these two for like a little bit of outer corner work. And then this is directly in the outer corner. So using these two mattes alone works perfectly fine. And then I'll use, this is kind of what I did today. I used this shade on the very outer corner of my lid. I used this shade in the middle, but you really could just use this one. I did that a lot in the last month. And then I would go in with this shade on the inner corner. I was working on some other lighter shadow. So I didn't always use this one in the last month, but that's how I really got good use on, on really all of these. But you can see this one, the, the pan did expand and there's a deeper well around the edges. And that's because I wore this a lot. Like I've been so busy. This is a really easy palette for me just to throw on. I don't have to think about it. And so that's what I did a lot this month. So there's that one. I've mentioned kind of how I use these crease shades. This pan right here is a nice sized pan. I really would like to take this one and hit side pan possibly. I think before I hit side pan, I'll probably end up, I was thinking, I was like, oh, I'll just side pan. But I think the way I use this, I swirl my brush in there. So I may do that for another month and then repress this. That's probably what I'll end up doing. And same with this one. I don't really, I mean, I use this one, but I, it's not like I put it all over my lid. It's usually just the inner corner. And like today I used it a little bit, a little bit on my brow bone because I'm a 90s girl. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of how I've been using this palette. And it's, I mean, it's just an easy look for me. Super easy. I also would mix this with 
other palettes that I'm working on. I'm just trying to think right now, like I have an Urban Decay, the electric palette. There's a bright pink in there. I'll use that in combination with this one. What else am I working on? There's a cake palette from Beauty, no, Glam Light. That one had some bright pinks in there that I have that pan in for like no pan left behind. And so, you know, I use those in combination with some of these shades. So that's what I've been doing with this guy. I really have been enjoying using this. If you like shades like this, this is a really nice like everyday palette, in my opinion. All right, so let's go to weights. So last month, this palette weighed 45.8 grams. It currently weighs 45.3. So I've used 0.5 grams out of this palette. And overall, since the beginning of the, of the year, I've used a total of 2.5 grams. This, according to Natasha Denona's, like their information on the packaging, has a total of four grams of shadow. Now, I think there's way more than that because as you can see, there's still a ton of product in here. Like I haven't even hit pan in this guy. And we'll see. Two point, but 2.5 grams is good. I'm ahead of schedule. If I'm going to finish this before the end of the year, I need to use 0.34 grams a month. And I need, so I need to be at 1.7 grams. So I'm almost, I'm like 0.8 grams ahead of schedule. So we're looking to go with this one. I really, really would love to finish this with like a two or three months left to spare in the year because I don't, I'm not getting much use on this guy. So I'd like to bring that in the fall and kind of get some usage on it. Moving on to my baby pan that palettes. I'm going to share with you the Charlotte Tilbury one first. This is the luxury palette in Pillow Talk. And I'm not going to really show you what this looked like last month because only shade I've been working on is this crease shade. I'll throw a picture of what it looked like last month, the screenshot from my video. But yeah, it's, I'm getting use on it. And I, if I'm doing a somewhat of, of a more neutral look, I'm always going for this shade. In fact, I think I've mixed this and this together as well. So this one weighed 50 grams last month. It's down to 49.9. So I only used 0.1 grams of shadow total so far this year i've used up 0.7 grams out of this now i think let me see what does it say this weighed a total of like the eyeshadow in here it says it, it's a total of 5.2 grams so i'm almost at a fifth or 30 30 percent maybe up so i'm feeling pretty good about that next baby pan that palette is the pat mcgrath labs mini palette in midnight voyage and i'll show you a picture of what this looked like last month and this is what it looks like now so the big change here is the pan in this dark dark brown shade i don't think these have oh they do this shade is called Extreme Aubergine. Now, this one I've mentioned before, I really use, use that shade mostly in my hair. It's kind of a perfect match for my hair color. I have what's, I, I want to say I talked about this last month, but I have a hair powder that I use. What's that brand? Well, I'll just show you Madison Reed and it's broken, but this is how much is left in here. But this is not a good shade match for me really at the end of the day. Like this powder is more of a purple and this is more of just a, a, you know, medium brown. I think this is a dark brown. Let's see. Yeah, it's a dark brown, but I have violet, purple and red in my hair color. So this is a much better match for me. So before I colored my hair, I colored it, what, two days ago, two or three days ago, I was using this to cover up my grays and that's how I got pan. Now I do have a nice dip going in this shade right here. That shade is called Entrapment. So you can't really tell, but there is a dip going there. And I think this is another one where if I get this Natasha Denona palette finished, early I can focus a bit more on this one because okay so the thing about this palette it's to me there's two different color stories going on and I don't tend to mix them we've got warm and I if I'm doing a warm look I will 
tend to pull for these shades. If I'm doing purple, I'll pull for these. So I don't use these colors in combination, like the two color groups together. And so I know with, and I'll show you the Natasha Denona, Denona here in a minute, the Lila palette, there are purples I could work with in that palette as well as neutral shades. Now this palette weighed 44.5 grams last month. It now weighs 44.2. So I've lost 0.3 grams in the last month. So far, I have used a total of 1.5 grams out of this palette. According to the packaging, there's three grams of shadow in here. I don't think that's accurate. I feel like there's more because I don't think I've used half this palette. I just, I don't, I don't know how that's possible because I haven't even finished any shadows in here. So I think there's way more shadow in here than three grams, but we will see. We will see. I'll continue to monitor that. So that is how this guy is looking. And then lastly, I have my Better Together project palette that this is a project that Paula created for the Fantastic Ladies. I think I have used a couple of shadows out of here. Not much. I'm not even weighing this because I don't think it's worth it. Like I think I used this shade, this shade, this shade, like these shimmers a couple of times. I don't think I touched the mattes. This is really, again, like I can use these shades more so when I start doing, when I, you know, start pulling a little bit more into the Pat McGrath later this year, hopefully. And then there are some nice neutral shades to work with as well. So we will see, especially like, you know, mattes and stuff. But this one just really hasn't been getting any love. I've been going easy and I've been using this one a lot. So that is my very quick update for my Pan That palette. Hopefully that was interesting. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to film this video in July. I may have to take a pretty decent hiatus in July because I'm moving the first week and which means I'm packing the first like first week of July and then like through Thursday and then I think I'm moving on Friday. So it's going to be a lot for me to be able to squeeze in any filming. So I don't think this, there's going to be a July update. And so I may have to update this project in August. So just as an FYI. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.